Hey everybody, Mr. Math Blog here. This lesson is graph and analyze relationships. So we're going to uh, graph some ordered pairs and we're going to analyze uh, the graph that we get and and go from there. Okay, so the, don't forget all your lessons can be found at MrMathBlog.com. There's our common course strand for our teachers, our most awesome teachers. And then our question is, how can we write and graph an ordered pair on a coordinate grid using two numerical patterns. All right, so we're going to try that with um, with Mildred here. Mildred is making some pink lemonade for a picnic. Don't you like pink lemonade? I sure do, especially in the summertime. And her mixture is three teaspoons of lemonade mix for every six fluid ounces of water. Uh, if she uses 18 teaspoons total, how many fluid ounces of water will she use? Okay, so what we're going to do is uh, use the two given rules in the problem to generate the first four terms for the number of, teaspoon, of uh, teaspoons of mix and the number of fluid ounces. Okay, and remember this little symbol means the word number right here. Okay, and so our rule is um, uh, she adds three teaspoons for every six fluid ounces. So we're going to add three and add six. Okay, so let's add three. Add three to this and add six to this. So three plus three will make this six and then six plus six will make this twelve right here. Okay, and let's do it again. Six plus three is going to be going to be 9 and then uh, 12 plus 6 is going to be 18 and so we'll just keep doing that there for the first four terms right there now we can keep going all the way out to 18 we can go you know 12 plus 3 is 15 and then uh, 24 plus 6 is 30 and then add 3 again and 15 would be plus 3 would be 18 and then 30 plus 6 would be uh, 36 right there so um, anyways, what we're going to do is we're going to graph these ordered pairs and then we're going to analyze the graph. So the lesson in here is to uh, make a graph and then and then discover some relationships in our graph. So let's first write the ordered pairs as, as uh, these numbers here as ordered pairs. Remember, this is our, our top uh, row right here. Our top row is always our first, just like X is before Y in the alphabet. These are always our X columns. Our, our top row is always the X's and the bottom row is always the y's. So here's 3 comma 6. Here's x comma y. x comma y is going to be 6, 12, 9, 18, 12, 24. So there they are as ordered pairs. Let's just slide that up right there. Now what we're going to do is graph and label these ordered pairs. And then we'll write a rule to describe how the number uh, pairs are related. And then what rule can we write that relates the amount of lemonade mix to the water? Okay, well, let's first graph. Okay, so we're going to graph 3, 6. Remember, this is x and this is y. So down here is our x-axis. This is our lemonade mix. So we're going to go over 3 and then up 6. And notice these little tick marks are going by 3s. Here's 3, 6, 9. This would be 12, 15, 18. And this is also going by 3s also. Here's 3, 6, 9. And so this is uh, fluid ounces of water. And down here is the teaspoons of lemonade mix. So 3 teaspoons for every 6 uh, fluid ounces. So we're going to bubble in that part right there. Okay. So there that is right there. All right, now we'll go over 6, up 12, okay? So here's 3, here's 6, and we'll go up to 12. Well, here's 9, so here would be 12 right here, okay? So there's that point right there. Let's graph the next one, and we'll graph the next one right there. All right, so now we're going to uh, write a rule to describe how the number pairs are related. Okay, well, look at this, you guys. What, what relationship do you see with 3 and 6? And then is it the same with 6 and 12 and 9 and 18? Can you see that this is half of this number right here? Or better yet, 6 is twice uh, 3, 12 is twice 6, 18 is twice 9, okay? And these second numbers are our fluid ounces. So a nice rule would be for every teaspoon of lemonade, there's two times as many fluid ounces, okay? And in terms of y and x, that's the same as y equals 2x, okay? So now we're getting into graphing equations, y equals 2x right here, okay? So there's our rule right there. And then so Mildred will use, all right, so what we're going to do, uh, it blank fluid ounces of water if she uses 18 tablespoons of lemonade, okay, or teaspoons, sorry, 18 teaspoons would be our X right here. So if we plug in 18 right there, then we're just going to go 2 times 18, and that'll tell us how many fluid ounces. All right, and if you don't know what 2 times 18 is, and we already did from before, we can do 
the distributive property, 18 is the same as 10 plus 8. So 2 times 18 is the same as 2 times 10 plus 2 times 8. 2 times 10 is easy. 2 times 8 is easy also. And then so 20 plus 16 is 36. So for 18 teaspoons of lemonade, she's going to make 36 fluid ounces of, of water right there. Okay, that's what she'll need. All right, so now here's a series of questions here, and we'll do these in order right here. So let's do the first one. So we'll write the final number as an ordered pair, okay? So that final number was 18 teaspoons for 36 fluid ounces. So there it is as an ordered pair. All right, this next part says, then graph and label it. Okay, so we'll just graph 1836. So here's 15, here's 18, and 36 would be way up here so right about there between uh, 33 and 39 so right there all right and then it says starting at the origin connect the points with a straight line segment so we're going to start here and we're going to go from here to here remember doing line graphs from before and then go from here to here and what happens is these are all on the same line segment right there so there it is right there so what so now let's answer the next question what are the uh, the connected points form well it forms a nice straight line segment right there okay and so explain why this is formed well the reason why it's formed you guys is uh, the rate of change they call it in algebra you guys the rate of change of lemonade mix to the amount of water remains the same it was always um, uh, y equals 2x so it just makes the same line segment and later on we're going to do this thing that's called slope we go up to over one up to over one y equals 2x so whatever x we go over y goes up two so anyways it was always the same y equals 2x okay all right, let's try another one. Maria needs three and a half feet of cable to connect uh, a speaker to her new computer. The cable is sold in inches only. Should have put the word only in there. Since there is uh, 12 inches in a foot, how many inches will she need? Well, this is another one we can probably figure out without graphing, but the graphing part of this unit is going to help us in later units, you guys. So we got to get we got to get good at graphing, and then we're going to analyze these graphs. So. Anyway, so our rule is we're going to multiply the number of feet by how many inches are in a feet? There's 12 inches in a feet. So we're going to multiply 1 times 12, 2 times 12. What's 2 times 12? That's 24. 3 times 12, or, or you can just keep doing this, you guys. You can just go plus 12, plus 12. So 24 plus 12 is 36. That's what 3 times 12 is. Plus 12, or 4 times 12 is 48. All right, now we're going to write these uh, numbers as ordered pairs. Remember, the top uh, row is always our x's. The bottom row is always our y's. Remember, x comes before y in the alphabet. So this comes before this. These are always our x's. So 1, 12, 2, 24, 336 and, and 448. Okay, so there's the ordered pairs. And then we're going to um, uh, slide that up. And now we're going to graph the ordered pairs and then and then connect the points from a, the origin with a straight line segment. Okay, so there's 1, 12. All right, now notice these are going in halves right here. So here's 1 half, here's 1. Here's 1 and 1 half, here's 2. So it's all the way going up to how many feet down here. This is our feet and this is our inches right here. Okay, remember. This was our feet, one foot for every 12 inches. Two foot means 24 inches, okay? So we're gonna go over to two and then up to 24 right there, okay? So there's that, and there's 336, and finally 448, all right? Now it says right here, connect the points from the origin to form a straight line segment right there, okay? So there we go. Now, uh, we are going to use the graph to find the number of inches in three and a half feet. Okay, so three and a half is between the whole numbers three and four. There's three and a half right there. Okay, so it's between the whole numbers three and four. So locate three and a half on the x-axis. Okay, so here's the x-axis. So there it is right there. I think I put a green point. Yep. Okay, and then so now we're going to draw a vertical line straight up from three and a half right there up on the x-axis and we're going to see where it connects it right up here on that line right there. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and graph that point. So now draw a horizontal line. We're going to see how many inches that's going to be. So we'll draw a horizontal line to find the y-coordinate. We're going to label that point three and a half comma 42. Okay. 
So there we go. That point is 3 and a half, 42. So uh, we, we drew a graph and then we found that point on the graph, that point on the graph to find out how many inches that's going to be. It's, she's going to need 42 inches of cable wire right there. Okay, now that the graph's here, what if we did one and a half, you guys? If we did one and a half, one and a half would take us to 18. So once you get a graph going, you can use the graph to find out other points. Two and a half feet would give us 30 inches right there. So, okay, and then if we kept going, uh, four and a half feet, if we kept going up to four and a half feet, it would take us to 54 if we kept going with that line. All right, you guys, I hope that helps and take care.